Justin. Courtney is not only going to be your wife after today, but she is going to be a part of you. She is going to be your partner in life. She will be your comfort in times of struggle. She will be the reason why you feel that wholeness as Adam did. She is the one I believe that God has chosen for you. And Courtney, Justin will not only be your husband after today, but he too will be a part of you. He'll be the one who you can talk to late at night. He'll be the one who gives you comfort when the world seems unfair. He is your protector. And I believe God has designed him specifically for you as well. Justin Charles Ledger. Babe, can you believe it? It's our wedding day. Only took us nine years to get here, but it's finally here. I feel like I've been dreaming of this day for my entire life. And ever since I can remember, it was always your face I pictured standing right beside me. Dear Courtney, I love you so much it hurts. You make my life better in every way. You make me want to be a better person. I know I really suck when it comes to some things, but you make up for every shortcoming that I have and more. You know I am terrible with words, but I am trying my best. It's impossible to tell you how much you mean to me in this letter. I've never loved anyone as much as I love you. You were the one that saw the best in me from day one. I walk by the band room where I met you every day and get chills because it gave me a friendship that grew into one epic love. This is a long time ago. I think and Courtney was maybe four years old, somewhere in there. And just Courtney and I are running over to visit her aunt, and we're driving through the little town of Frazee, Minnesota. And I'm sharing a little story with Courtney about this little white church on the corner as we stopped there before we turned to head towards Otter Tail Lake, and basically explaining to her that one of her mom's friends from college got married there, and we had known each other, and we got together at the wedding. We kind of started dating, and eventually we got married, and someday, in a beautiful little church like that, Courtney will find her own man and they'll, they'll get married and it'll be happily ever after and they'll move on. And we started to drive away and my little girl's bawling in the back seat. And uh, so I stopped, pulled the car over and I said, Courtney, what's the matter? And she said, but dad, I want to marry you. <laughs> so once I got a chance to explain it to her that that's not exactly how it works, but it's a... <laughs> It's a nice sentiment to hear from your daughter. I thought someday you'll meet that man, and I thought she did. He's very much like me. I mean, he's tall, both fairly tall. Good looking, right? Sorry. And we're both very athletic, for those of you that know me. But above all, I know that he loves her as much as we do, and we're very happy to have Justin part of the family. So once again, thank you and congratulations. Justin and Courtney, if it is your intention to share with each other your laughter and your tears and all that the years will bring, I invite you to bind yourselves together as husband and wife. Would you please face one another and join hands as you share the vows that you have chosen for this day. I, Justin, take you, Courtney, to be my wife. I, Courtney, take you, Justin, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad in sickness and in health, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Now with the blessings of God, all the family and friends who are present by the authority vested in me by the state of North Dakota, I pronounce you husband and wife. Justin, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> it is my privilege to present to you this day in marriage, Mr. and Mrs. Ledger.
The thing that I think forged our friendship more than anything over the years uh, has been bird hunting. Uh, Justin and I have been chasing pheasants uh, alongside our dads, uh, a few others that I've seen here, and a whole bunch of dogs for 15 plus years. And uh, for those of you that hunt or fish with a certain crew, you know that for whatever reason it has a way of creating, uh, creating some pretty cool bonds. Moving on to college, you know, I think I'm really forever indebted to him uh, for taking me. I'll never forget that pheasant hunt over Christmas break. Uh, seeing JP uh, fetching birds, retrieving birds, getting birds that never even got up. I couldn't hit a thing. I was that. I was you when you were younger, claiming, claiming kills that weren't mine. Um, but it changed my life. A couple years later, we ended up being roommates. Uh, it was a short kind of couple years, but but it was awesome. You know, and amidst all the shared meals, the games of pool at the Union, uh, the trips to shoot our bows, the Halloween at the bar as ketchup and mustard. Over the years, it has become obvious why Courtney is our best friend. She has taught us how to enjoy life. She is a firm believer in wearing whatever is comfiest. A late night snack after a night out is mandatory. And watching movies or Netflix 24-7 is not frowned upon. She is always willing to go out, but more importantly, stay in. Being friends with both Courtney and Justin, since before they started dating means that we have been able to watch their relationship grow from a high school love to a once in a lifetime love. This also means that we've had to endure, endure Justin's meowing noises, <laughs> obnoxious jokes, and his hunting obsession for quite a while now. However, we've enjoyed his friendship over the years. We always joked that out of all of the college boyfriends, Justin would be the only one to survive. And we couldn't be happier to be standing here to say that we were so right. Thank you, Justin, for loving Courtney through all the good and the bad, and more importantly, for sharing her with us. As for Courtney, uh, I've really only known her than, since these two started dating, which was, you know, only roughly a decade ago. Uh, uh, but probably within their first year of dating, I remember thinking that these two are uh, about as perfect as you can get uh, for one another, um, which factually didn't make sense. Uh, you look at Courtney, she's pretty. Justin, a fair bit less pretty. Uh, Courtney's an A student, Justin's in that low C you know, maybe a, a B minus range, um, but in the only way that really matters, you know, they were, uh, they are, and I think they forever will be perfectly compatible. And uh, I can't imagine seeing you guys uh, anywhere other than you are right here, right now. Um, I'm truly honored to be standing this close to you guys, and uh, I'm excited for you both and your future, and I uh, love you guys. And uh, let's, let's cheers uh, to my third grade sweetheart and my third grade rival, now best friend, Mr. and Mr. Ledger. Justin and Courtney, by the promises before God and the presence of this congregation, have bound themselves together as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one tear apart.